Hello everybody! In today's tutorial I want to show you how to use this uh, like a scarf like a scarf, yes, or like a hat um, two types of hats. So uh, what I have done here, I have uh, started with uh, from here I have knitted uh, cast on 90 um, stitches and then I, ha I have used the um, fisherman stitch or the brio stitch and I have done uh, 60 rows or a little bit more 60 rows will do for you and if you have this into two so let's try to have this into two okay like that you can uh, use it like a scarf so you can use it like a scarf around your neck like this you can have it uh, around your neck um, so mm, um, here is going to be um, secure because this imagine this is a hat so when you are uh, bought with this using this like uh, a scarf uh, what you can do is just um, just uh, undo this knot here where you see the needle is going to be a, a a cord which will secure this end here well you undo this cord and you open up this and um, let's see this like a hat proper hat imagine this would be a hat and what I will have to do is to secure this uh, part with some uh, needle so if I use this needle to secure this bit here and maybe another one to secure this here and another one you will have an idea and you understand better what I'm trying to explain to you here so one more and we are done okay so this is uh, okay secure like that so it's wrong and now in, instead of having this uh, needle here, you will have a cord which you can tie up. Uh, because this is a head, I will have to uh, fold it here like this. So this is the head, right? And when I place it on top of my head, it's going to be like this. Okay, so far it's like, like this. I like my head to cover up uh, my front because uh, when it's cold I like to have my uh, forehead protected so here is the cord okay this is the cord which you will have to tidy up and make a knot here and um, then you'll be fine I'll make sure I will show you when it's finished how it's going to look here but uh, for the moment you'll have something like like this so this is a, a good head if you want it to be more larger you can you can just take this a little bit down and this uh, margin here and um, here you are you can have this head so uh, if you want it to be more up you can do like that so the head is ready basically now if you are bored you just undo this knot here where you see the needle here you just undo and then uh, enlarge it so you enlarge it, make it large okay and uh, you will just push it down you will push it down and lift this up and here you are, you have the scarf <laughs> this time is white yeah, okay because the black is underneath so, and, and this too where is the cord I will just secure and secure I will secure and will be you can make it so tight that it cover your neck very well and this one you can lift it up and just cover your, your nose if you want it to <laughs> if it's the hair is very cold and you can't breathe the hair you will just lift it up and this is secure around your neck which is very good and this is uh, just to protect your uh, nose from breathing the cold hair, air so I I hope you like this idea. I think it's very a good um, idea, and um, 
also while I was crocheting this I had another idea um, you can see you can crochet even if you have this into two these are 30 rows here I made 30 rows so if you have this into two you can have a head in this way uh, you don't if it's not so cold you don't want to cover up this part here at all and you just crochet this um, like a hairband and uh, it's not it's much nicer and uh, it's going to keep you very warm and you uh, you open you leave your hair out like let's say let's see if I can uh, open my so your hair is going to come out and you're gonna have something something like this maybe your hair out and uh, or even even smaller now this is really <laughs> really interesting this is like more like a head so this is a uh, folding into another two so in I have four parts here as you see it's so raised up so if you want a head with this uh, margin like this you have to crochet a lot uh, like 60 rows and then fold it into two and into two again so uh, this is how it came um, and you had this like 3D 3D aspect of it so so many ideas this is oh this is another idea look this is just like another idea for a head I just see now you can secure this part here you can secure with uh, some th uh, yarn and a or a needle and a thread you can secure like that there and you se can secure here with a needle and a thread you can tie it up there and you just uh, um, you can apply here some elastic to keep it uh, a little bit more raised up like that and this will is another model of, of a hat so you can um, work out this bit here uh, to make the hat and this is the shape of of the head so you can do you can do in this way if you wanted to um, what I wanted to show you uh, is something else so you take this off okay and uh, I had this idea of uh, making a different kind of head uh, the head I had in mind I will have to take all these uh, pins off, so if you bear in mind with me, if you bear with me for a second, okay, so we take this off and place them on the table, so one more, pins, so this one, as you've been working on, if you place it around your hair like this, so if you place it around your hair like this, you can secure here with um, a cord and then uh, this bit and this bit you just uh, join them together you join them together okay like this so um, let's do the joining what you have to do is as you had this um, crocheting okay you start your United stitches and you have done you have done um, uh, how many rows you have done 60 rows and then you fold it into half and you are not keeping in this way like for a head with the lines going up you're gonna have to rotate 90 degrees like that and then this bit here where you are crocheting you will join them together so if I'm using my pins and I'm joining it together just to show you you will have another kind of beautiful um, um, head and then you can attach a scarf around uh, from this head which I will show you they are very popular and lots of girls are using this kind of so what you have got so far is something like this okay and um, it's like um, t um So you place this around your head and this is how it looks like so far. Now because it's a little bit large and you can fold it like this, 
you can fold it more if you want you can fold it like like that you can fold it just a little and uh, depends how how much you've been crocheting because I I would like this uh, margin to be a little bit wider like that so I will want to crochet it a bit more this edge to be a little bit larger so I will here I will make sure I can have a buttonhole or just uh, use some ribbon I would like a white ribbon very uh, wide so I can have a beautiful um, ribbon here and uh, this is another hat if you if you want then from here you can um, uh, do you can make a scarf and you can put it all the way around and and down coming the scarf so your scarf is coming down up around around the back coming around this part of your neck around your neck and coming down and this is uh, another scarf you can have attached to this um, hat so but I don't really like this kind of hat why I don't like because uh, you can see they don't cover my forehead and I like my hands to cover my forehead though it's very beautiful and very pretty you can make for kids, you can make for, for ladies for um, you can make for, for girls, for uh, everybody even uh, I have seen even men wearing them you can uh, make this um, edge like very uh, short and then fold it into uh, two and then you can have that kind of uh, style uh, um, in old times or the old uh, it was a fashion for all for ladies from for bourgeois families uh, you know something like this <laughs> very pretty so thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you find this inspiring and let me know what you think thank you bye